In an unprecedented move, New York City has filed a lawsuit against 30 New York counties for refusing to accept asylum seekers. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has more. Rutland County Executive Ed Day was the first local official to try and stop New York City from busting asylum seekers to his local hotels. And now he's the first in a list of 31 people. 30 county executives and Riverhead Town Supervisor Yvette Aguilar sued today by New York City for issuing what the city says is unlawful executive orders to close their borders to asylum seekers. These counties have implemented misguided and ex unlawful executive orders. The city also wants to stop the localities from imposing fines on hotels that accept asylum seekers. These executive orders burden and obstruct New York City's lawful and responsible effort to address an ongoing statewide emergency. This as the number of asylum seekers arriving here continues to swell. 2,100 arrived during the past week, bringing the total to over 74,000. The Legal Aid Society and the Coalition for the Homeless supporting the suit saying, quote, upstate elected officials must cease with the xenophobic and racial rhetoric and frivolous legal strategies to thwart efforts to relocate new arrivals outside of New York City and instead exhibit some semblance of leadership to assist with this humanitarian crisis. Deputy Mayor Ann Williams Isom says the city desperately needs the president to approve quicker pathways to allow the migrants to work. People want to work. That is what they came here for, to be able to start their new life and to get connected and on their journey to get resettled. Meanwhile, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries said they had secured another $104.6 million in federal aid for the city. A Schumer spokesman tells CBS2 the senator has personally pushed the White House to expedite work permits. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS2 News. And a spokesperson for the Orange County Executive insists that the the city's lawsuit lacks merit. He says the county will continue to try to keep asylum seekers out.